I love working with PA systems. Uh, I hope I don't hurt anybody ear, anybody's ears, though. Am I too loud? No, no. We are so thankful you're just like that. <laughs> oh, whoa! My <laughs> swelling right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, uh, there's one we can look to for peace. When we have all kinds of trouble in our life and everything's going wrong, we can look to the peace speaker. His name is Jesus, the peace speaker. It was such a lovely day The sun was shining bright The gentle winds were blowing my way Not a storm cloud inside Then suddenly without in the storm Oh, I can feel the calm Here's the reason why Jesus is here. 
invitation here in a little bit. But uh, don't worry about the time, okay? Because, uh, this guy back down here again. Uh, don't worry about the time because uh, I used to be a truck driver. <laughs> back in my days, anyway, they had uh, uh, 13 gears. Usually when I drove, had 13 gears. And I'm going to tell you what, you could drive them low if you wanted to. You could pull all the power you wanted to. You just couldn't get very far. You just, you know, slow, slow. But you could shift on up to 13 gears. And then you were moving on, right? You were moving on. So we're going to get it over into 13 here in a few minutes and move on. But we're going to have a good service. You're enjoying it this morning? Uh, this is a wonderful time of the year, really, Easter. I thought, when would you come and be at hand? Now, if, if you haven't been coming to the Bible study on Wednesday night, you might want to come because uh, we're, we're, we're getting in on uh, Israel. Why should we support Israel? You're hearing it on the news. It's something that you... Israel has a major part to play in God's salvation for mankind. And Israel has a land today that they will not be given up like they did before. They disobeyed God back there, and God drove them out of the land. And if America doesn't wake up and get back on the right track, America might be falling in their face also, just like Israel did. And Israel was out there for 2,000 years, wandering, no nation, no country, just out there as a people and didn't know where they were. Wouldn't it be a shame if America would quit just keep on playing games and quit this stuff, uh, uh, acting so religious and really get righteous before God and do what God would? Wouldn't it be a wonderful day? They could change America around in, a, in a, just a second. It really could. And uh, so anyway, I get excited. I get excited. 